Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed, and in this particular video tutorial, we will look at the cast and convert operators in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that what are the cast and convert operators in SQL Server and how to use them in SQL Server. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. I got the SQL Server instance here, and I will try to use some of the type conversions. So both the cast and the convert operators, they are used to convert the data type from one type to another type. The syntax of the cast operator is cast expression as data type, while the syntax of the convert function is convert data type comma expression. And then optionally here we can set the format for the date as well. Format of date okay so this is how we can use the cast and convert operators so we can use any of them and they are used to explicitly convert the data type of a column okay or a particular expression in most of the scenarios the sql server implicitly does the data conversion for example you have a sql server table and in the sql server table the data type of the column is integer okay and now if you are trying to insert the data from another table or from another query okay and the data type of the source is where care okay so when you will insert the data from where care into the integer column then the sql server will automatically do the conversion and this is called as implicit conversion and this will be successful as long as you will insert a valid numeric value into the integer column and as soon as it will find a invalid record then the conversion will fail okay but suppose if you need to concatenate the Verker and integer or Verker and numeric columns together then you need to do the explicit type conversion okay so let me show you what i'm talking about so i have table in this particular database and the table name is employees okay so if i show you the data so this contains like employee id first name last name email and department so now along with these particular columns if i want to display one extra column and the column value should be like this is employee ID and the employee ID should come from this particular column like this is employee ID 1, this is employee ID 2, this is employee ID 3 kind of. So then I didn't need to concatenate the employee ID along with a string. So if I do that then let me show you like how it will behave. So I can add a column this is employee ID and now I want to concatenate the data from the employee ID table. So I can select the employee ID from here okay and now let me execute this query. So now you can see that this is failing uh, the conversion failed while converting varchar value to data type int. Okay, so it is trying to do the implicit conversion. Now this is failing because the employee ID column this is integer in the table. So let me show you sp underscore help and the table name. So this employee ID this is integer data type and this is a string. So that's why it is failing. So here in this particular case we need to convert this employee id to the varchar format okay so either we can use the cast or we can use the convert here let me try to use the cast here cast employee id as and uh, i can give the data type varchar and length so maybe i can give the length as 50 and i can call this new column as my new column you know you can call the column any name okay so now if i rerun the query now this will work fine and you can see a new column here so this is employee id 1 2 3 4 okay so here we are doing the explicit uh, data conversion and we are using the cast function here you can also use the uh, you know convert function so suppose if i want to use the convert function then instead of the cast i can write convert and now we need to give the data type in the beginning so i can copy the data type from here and we need to provide it in the beginning and comma okay so this is how the convert works so you can use you know any of them so that should be fine now let me show you when we use the convert function especially to do the formatting of the date time okay so suppose let me create a table here create table and i can call the table as dates okay and uh, i can define a column id int identity and uh, current date and i can give the data type as date time okay so i create a table here and let me insert some data insert into dates 
and uh, I can select the current date time get date okay so let me execute this one so now the process ran fine and let me select the data from the dates so if I select the data so this is showing me the current date time okay now suppose uh, if I want to convert this particular date if I want to display the, the date from this particular table in different formats okay then we can use the convert function and then there are some codes which we can use to display the data in a specified format so if you look at the uh, Microsoft site so if you want to display the data in mm forward slash dd forward slash yyyy then we can use this particular number 101 here in the formatting and this will convert the date into this particular format so right now the date is in yyyy hyphen mm hyphen yy okay so we can convert it to any type so suppose i want the data like in the us format mm dd yy so we can use the 101 number here okay so how we can do that we can use the convert function convert worker and after worker comma and then the column name current date and the number 101 okay and we can call the column as us date okay so if i execute the query now so you can see that the uh, this is the default format that it is in date time but if you want to convert the format to us format then you can use this one and maybe i can show you one more format so suppose if you want the data in yyyy mmdd format then we can use the number 112 okay so what i can do uh, i can simply copy this particular uh, query from here paste it here and this particular date is called as iso format okay so i can call it like iso okay and i can change the uh, number to 112 okay now if i execute this particular query so you can see that this is the iso format date this is the us format date and this is the normal date so here we are using the convert function to convert the date in a specified format okay and now suppose let me declare one of the variable declare data and i can call it as like worker 100 okay set data equal to 102.35 okay now suppose if i want to convert this particular data uh, into the another format like into decimal format then how i can do that select cast at the rate data as decimal and 18 comma 2 i just give the length as 18 comma 2 it means that the total length of the data it can be up to 18 okay and after the decimal point there can be only two digits okay so suppose uh, let me put the data like uh, 3 2 1 okay 3 5 2 1 so if I select the data now so it should return like 102.35 okay so you can see that uh, because we are doing a uh, type conversion and we are converting to decimal format so that's why you know uh, we are interested only up to two digits so that's why it took only the two digits after the dot okay and suppose if you are only interested in the value before the decimal point then we can convert to another type as well we can try to convert it to integer format so let me try to convert it to integer format and then let's see you know what kind of data it will return so now it is failing here it's saying like a uh, conversion field when converting the data to in integer type okay so i think we can you can try to convert it to a decimal you know without giving any kind of values like 18 comma 2 so we can just try to convert to decimal and now it can you know just get the data before the decimal points okay so we can try to convert into different data type so normally we use you know like money data type to store the uh, numeric values okay so it can store any kind of data like especially the money data which has the decimal numbers in it okay i think probably you can check like according to your requirement you can do the explicit data conversion whatever you think is suits in your scenario okay now let me give you another example let me copy this particular query and paste it here and uh, rename the variable to data2 and suppose if i am giving some numeric values like a b c okay and suppose if i convert this particular value to the you know money for example then it will fail okay so it seems like i missed to put the variable name in the finals cast so let me rerun the query so 
you know it is feeling like cannot convert a carry value to money okay so you should be careful like while using the type conversion that you should only try to convert the correct values like only the values which can be converted okay so maybe i will make another video like to handle the scenarios where there is a varchar value and you are trying to convert into numeric then how you can handle those particular values okay now let me give another example suppose uh, you are trying to uh, execute this query select 5 divide by 2 okay so ideally this should return the value like 2.5 but if you execute the query like this then it will return the value as 2 which is uh, not expected uh, because ideally the result should be 2.5 okay but this is giving only the two value and not giving the data after the decimal point because right now this is this seems to be numeric and this seems to be numeric so you need to uh, do the data conversion before doing the uh, divide operation so you can use the cast function cast to as and you can maybe convert it to float so if you execute the query now then you will get the data 2.5 okay so this is working fine now or what you can do uh, you can just uh, do the data conversion for the 5 as well okay so let me show you so maybe i can use the convert function here convert and uh, float comma 5 so if you execute the query now then this will also return the 2.5 okay so you need to convert at least one of the number here to the float or money so that you can get the data the actual data that you want okay yeah so this was about the cast function and the convert function in sql server like what is the syntax and how we can use it in the sql queries and yeah of course you need to practice uh, different scenarios different data types inserting data from varchar into integer and from integer to varchar and maybe from varchar to date time we normally get a lot of issues while inserting the data from varchar into date time because sometimes the date uh, value cannot be the correct one there can be some invalid records those you are trying to insert into date time column and the process can fail so maybe in next videos we can uh, see those kind of issues like when we are inserting some invalid dates into the date time column or we are trying to insert some varchar data into the numeric column and the implicit conversion is not happening then maybe you can see those kind of scenarios as well yeah, so i think that's it for today's video and yeah maybe i can share this particular queries <laughs> although these are not very perfect queries but i will share these queries with you so that you can download them from the link in the description of the video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much